Good evening, everyone. I am Jill Barker, the co-chair of the North Andover Poet Laureate Committee. And on behalf of myself, our town poet laureate, Mark Borer, and our committee members, I want to welcome everyone to tonight's meeting. Just a reminder that the live broadcast can be heard on www.northandovercam.org. And that's on the Cam Ed channel found on Comcast channel 99 and Horizon channel 28. Uh, in addition to Mark and myself, the other Poet Laureate Committee members in attendance tonight are Karen Klein, Marie McAndrew Taylor, Bridget Rodding, Latika Karnani, and Jason O'Toole. Oh, great, great. Uh, as noted at the end of our last meeting, Bridget Rodding will be the Secretary Pro Tem for tonight's meeting. So thanks again, Bridget. You're welcome. And um, while we're on the subject of Secretary Pro Tem, I also mentioned at the last meeting that I'm setting up a rotating schedule so that each PLC member will be able to share in the joy of <laughs> taking meeting minutes. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to you know, leave anyone out. Uh, also, as I noted before, you don't have to take actual notes during the meeting if you don't want to, if that's distracting. You can always create the minutes later by listening to the audio recording of the meeting, which can be found on YouTube, and they usually post that within a couple of days after the meeting. So um, the rotation, I've set up kind of the way I send out my um, uh, emails chronologically. It will be Jill, Karen, Marie, Bridget, Latika, and Jason. Considering that Bridget's doing it tonight, I don't know if Latika, you'd be able to do it the next meeting? Sure, absolutely. You're, you're in line? Yeah. And if you have any questions at all, or concerns, or conflicts, whatever, just let me know. Sure. Um, okay, so one other thing before we begin. We do try to keep our meetings to uh, one hour time limits. Um, went over a little bit last night as Mark kindly reminded me. I just wanna say that we do have a lot of ground to cover tonight. I don't know if we can be a little bit more flexible about the time for adjournment. Uh, we can just play it by ear and whoever really absolutely has to leave at that time may do so. But we might just need another extra five or 10 minutes or so. Okay, now to officially begin the meeting. I'm just gonna start by offering uh, this opportunity. If anyone has a poem they were thinking they'd like to read to start the meeting. Um, I don't know if anyone has brought anything along or not. Um, also, I was just gonna mention, because we probably won't have time, we won't be doing a closing poem tonight, but just as a reminder, which I meant to send along with my email to you, <clears throat> with the meeting invite. Just re remember that if you'd like to um, read a poem, whether it's yours or someone else's that you would enjoy sharing um, at the outset or the close of the meeting, um, have one at the ready. Yeah, it's kind of a nice way to, to get in the mood. Yeah, I think Jason is uh, loading so, the gun. He's pulling something off the shelf. <laughs> he's, our go he's our backup guy. Thank you, Jason. Well, since since time is of the essence, I figure I'm going to read a uh, haiku. haiku by Basho okay. because of time is of the essence. Awesome. I don't know which tree it comes from, that fragrance. Like that. And nice. That's it. Like time it. is of the essence. Like you that can think lot. about that one and, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> thank you, Jason. Sure, I love how you. you're, you're right there. With that. That's great. All oh, right. Good. As always, first item on the agenda is Mark's update. Take it okay. away, Mark. All right. Well, um, I, I represented North Andover as the feature poet at the Swamp Scott Reach Arts first Friday open night open mic. Uh, on February 5th. Um, I read my new chapbook. Um, that, that was 
it's really a neat thing. We did it with uh, two um, high school seniors. The, we did it in kind of a uh, dramatic form, uh, three of us doing the, the readings of three, three poems. And uh, we did it with, um, made use of the online capability by having graphics to go with the poem as we read it. So um, I sent out a YouTube link. I hope people had a chance to, to see it. Um, it. It was a lot of fun. It was it was neat. I mean, like if we were together in a theater space, I could see having those pictures projected overhead, you know, um, to set the scene. Um, I like to see more more things like that. So uh, I, I you know, thought it was very interesting. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Good. So that was one thing, I mean, in terms of regular activities, been having the, the monthly um, North Andover Poets Corner. And uh, that's that that's also been good. I'm looking to line up uh, people as guest poets. So if any of you have suggestions of, of poets in the area who you would like to have as, as a guest feature, uh, send me their names. Uh, I would love, you know, I'm lining up somebody for, um, April, but March is open right now and other months are open. So, you know, open to okay. ideas. Thank you. Okay. And, um, and then of course, you know, I share things and post poems on North Andover Poets Corner on Facebook also. So that, that seems to be a, a growing um, community where um, Marie, I think you've been um, promoting it. Uh, yeah with your poet loving friends. Yes, yes, I really like it. I really like it. Good. Yeah, so it's, you know, I try to share at least one poem a week. I, I lately I haven't always been doing that, but that's kind of, kind of the cycle that I like to keep. I don't want to overdo it, you know? Um, like the, I know that so, for a while I've subscribed to some of those sites that send you a poem a day. And then after a while, you feel like, oh, I, I'm not keeping up on my poetry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's why I do it once a week and, and people see it come in on maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday morning. Uh, but uh, everybody, anybody else is welcome to share poems and uh, poets and other art things. Uh, you know, Jason off, often puts stuff up there of things that he's doing, which is really cool. So, you know, whether it's music or, um, other things you come across, but uh, it, it seems to be a, a a thing that people enjoy and share, and so um, keep going. It's uh, one of the good things about Facebook. That's right. That's right. So that, that's the uh, that's my report in terms of activities, other than you know, separate from getting ready for the the Anne Bradstreet Poetry Contest. Okay. Good. Thanks. Um, so let's dive in to the um, discussion about the contest. And we should probably start with um, reviewing what Mark has sent out uh, for flyer slash informational bulletin, um, uh, describing the contest, setting out the rules, and we can review them and, and discuss if there's something we think might need tweaking. Um, can I start? Go ahead. I have one question somewhere along the way. I don't know if it was on here or not. I saw that you were referring to it as the annual. Where did I see that? The annual Anne Bradstreet Poetry Contest. Yes. So where did where did I see that? In any <laughs> case, what do you think about annual? I any, mean, any we, anybody? We hadn't talked a lot about that, but we had at different times thrown out and used that term as this is the first annual. So it's true. <laughs> hey, I have to I have to ask people. Do you have your Do you have your bikes on? Are we getting any feedback from you? I don't know if I need to do something. Oh no, no. There we go. No, okay. we can switch it on. Okay, great. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I'm Sorry, I guess they didn't have my my mic on. No problem. Um, so 
uh, how, how do you feel about annual? What did you say, Mark? Did you say that you thought it was an option? Obviously. Um, I was hoping that we would do that. And, and based on some of the discussion that I had heard, having it said that way, um, I thought it was a good thing to frame it that way, that we would have um, a poetry contest every year, that it would be one of our activities, maybe our big activity for um, po National Poetry Month at this time of year. But but I, I guess I, we should talk about it and decide, is, is this a one-time thing or, and then we'll see how it goes and well, then that's we do it. Exactly. That's what I'm wondering to see how logistically speaking it all works out. And, you know, if we think we can streamline it or, or you know, adjust it so it work, runs a little better, whether we could do it annually or not. I'm not sure if we should at the outset say that that's a. In other words, just do it. What do people yeah. think? How, what do other folks feel? I, I like just the first and Brad Street. Or even just, just. Or don't even say anything. Just, just say the yeah. Bread Street Poetry. Yeah, yeah. do that. Just make not mention annual just yet. You can make it the inaugural. Oh, that's a good one. That's That kind of gives you hope. And it's the perfect year for that word. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for reasons. Okay, we could we could put that in. Um, well, I guess if you say inaugural, though, you're you're saying something is starting. Like, so maybe maybe Karen's right. Just just say announcing the Anne Bradstreet Poetry Contest for this time. Yeah. yeah, like sort of like make sure the plane flies first before we. Uh... <laughs> right. Okay. And I noticed, Mark, that the additional item that you tagged tagged on the theme was "What is your dream?" Is that that sounds okay? What, what yeah. About, do people what, want what, to? Actually, let me give you my thinking. Uh -huh. well, the first, the first thing is it's one of those things that comes out of like trying to make lines in a poem rhyme. I had to rhyme with scheme, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Slap you. <laughs> But actually, no. That's that. This is called creativity. When uh, when when you have to do something, you, something comes up, and you go, "Oh yeah, okay." Well, because here's the thing: if it goes to the schools, you have to tee it up. It has to be like right in front of them, something that they can do. Uh, and and I'm something I'm a, mnemonic. You mean too, in terms of. Something that asks them answer, you know, you're asking someone to answer a question that feeds a natural thing that you know, people can respond to. Whereas uh -huh. if you just kind of say, here's our big deal, you know, big thing, it, it doesn't be, be so, more specific. So you don't think that it limits it in any way with that question? Well, I guess now I want to see if people, I mean, it talks about it draws up the idea of the American dream, which so I think that that's, that's the I yeah. like it. I like it. I like that idea. I like it. But um, but it's not it's not just lyric poetry though. It's open verse, free verse. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. we don't we don't stipulate right. that there's any particular okay. style or brand or. It's just uh, wanting to know if we were going to add on that. What is your dream? Uh, I think it's okay with that? I, I I like it. Um, okay. It it doesn't. I mean, I didn't find it objectionable or, or what is it? I, in fact, I smiled at it. Okay, so shall we uh, include that then? Right? Yeah, I don't find it restrictive. Yeah. I mean, and to the extent that it does restrain, it's writing with restraints, which like Mark said, can kind of encourage new creativity. So I think it's a good, a good approach. Well, this was kind of our concept anyway, from the get go. Right. Uh, you know, the idea of what you hope for or what you envision, you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, a go. Um, so rules on submissions. Submit in one of four categories. Okay. And we need to make sure somewhere here that they indicate 
did, did you, I didn't, I don't know if it indicates where they, where they put down where they, what level they're in. Is there some place that like, they're going to give their name, email address, mailing address. They should have oh, a level um, yep. so we can sort those out easily. I guess that's in the second group in the body, your name, email address, mailing address. Category. Um, uh -huh. Well, you have one blind one, I hope, right? Yeah, category is the word to use. Yep. Category. Okay. Yeah, better than the word level. Okay. Um, each person may submit up to two poems. So I think we had said three. Two's, two's oh. probably a little more manageable. What do, you, what do you think? Do you want two or three? Two. Okay. Anyone else? Two is fine. Okay. Yeah. 15 lines maximum each. Is that, that was just kind of off the top of my head. I just, yeah. Was that 15 or 50, five zero? Five zero. Five zero, got it. Oh, five, okay, that's better. Yeah. It could go onto a second page if it has to. And do, do we need to specify a length? I wasn't sure about that. Like, Yeah, we really don't, I mean. I, I'm thinking maybe we, might omit that only because it gets people thinking like, ooh, they're accepting yeah. 50 lines maximum. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. Overwhelming. Yeah. Or think, think like they they have, yeah, okay. All right, so maybe we'll just not even describe it to limit it or whatever. And okay. epic. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, I'm editing as we talk, so, you know, I'm capturing that. Okay. There's no specific style that can be rhyming or free verse, however the theme speaks to you. Nice. Uh, how to submit your poem, email to, okay. Yeah. Thanks for setting that up so promptly. Mark, um, let's see, project in the body. Now, when do you, what do you mean by like in the body? No attachments. Yeah, I was trying to keep it simple and easy to process. Whereas you get an email and the email has the poem in it. So it's, you know what I mean? It's less to deal with. I, I don't know if, no PDF. if it matters that much. My only question about that, and I, I get it for, you know, internet safety and all of those things, but um, line breaks can be tricky. Yeah. You know, right. Depending on how they format their poem. If, if we remove, if we don't let them send it as a PDF or something, their line breaks might get broken and formatting, depending on their email system, they may not be able to, present it the way they want it to look. Well, in, that's okay, but whenever they create the poem, the PDF or whatever it is. Oh, actually, I don't, want them, I don't want them to send PDFs. In fact, I, mean, I okay. hadn't thought of that, but if anything, it would be a, a Word document Okay. or something. But they should have like at the bottom or up top, they should have their so that, con, that important e information, the name, email address, mailing address, and category. That should be on the same page as the poem, don't you think? Right. I, I don't want to be trying to match things up at some point. And I've seen a number of poetry contests where they say, you know, submit your contact info and the poem in the body of the email, but if there are special formatting considerations, and they do generally say PDF just because word isn't as universal and that can also mess up line breaks and such, but I mean, whatever, but maybe just to offer them the option to send it as a, an attached document if they need to. I don't know, maybe this isn't really relevant. Yeah, um, you know what, I, I could see dropping that. that I, I do, know. sorry. I Probably was just going to really. say, I do know that whenever I send the agenda to town hall, it always totally messes up um, the it's formatting. Amazing. Yeah, so I have to always go back, save it as a PDF, and then send it. Right. Um, so, um, okay, so as long as... requiring it in the body and yeah. making an attachment optional if the submitter feels like it's necessary. Yeah, you know, it just all... I'll say you can send it a you know, Word document, PDF, or in the body of the email. I'll just let you do But in any case, it. wherever it is, their info has to be part of that document. That's the kind of the critical thing. Yes. Okay. 
Um, also, one thing, I don't know if it's already mentioned, but the category that they are in. That, that, was, that was the other thing that we had just talked about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it should be right in that information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise we could, we could yeah. be spending a lot of time <laughs> trying to figure stuff out. Um, that's really critical. Uh, let's see, sending more than one poem, send in the same, you know, separate by only a few spaces. Email only poems. Text. Yeah. We'll okay, that's that. what you're going to, okay. That's what you're... Okay. Okay. Th that looks okay. Then the next part is who is open to all who live or work in North Andover. That sounds good. Any comments? Not sure if work, I, I don't understand the work part because these are students, right? Oh, no, it's for anybody. It's anyone. Yeah, any, you know, any, any, age. any age. Oh, uh, even adults can do it. Okay. I wasn't know. And, yeah. and, and um, in a moment, we're going to get you involved, Latika, Latika, um, <laughs> in the adult category. And we'll explain that in a minute. Sure. Uh, so, <laughs> contest dates. Um, if you notice in the email I sent you, I did update our deadlines for our oh, okay. for our use. Um, hopefully, it coincides with this. I don't know if I have that handy. No, I don't know. But Mark, you can just make sure it jibes with whatever you've got here. What that was in the minutes? Yeah. And well, okay. I also just sent it in an email recently, like yes, last night or whenever it was. Um, I put them in a, a little block in the middle of the email to remind people what the deadlines were. Um, but it's also in the minutes that um, I, I uh, sent you. Okay. Um, open to submissions, okay. Then at the end, you've got monitor for news at the FB group North Andover Poets Corner and you have that link. Email any questions to Ann Bradstreet Poetry Contest at gmail.com. Okay. Top three will be announced and will be posted. Okay. So maybe we should talk about what our awards are going to be in terms of uh, are there going to be three or four awards? We're not having honorable mentions. I think we agreed in the last meeting. So when you I think it's so is be, it, is I think it gonna, it's gonna be hard enough to find three gifts. No, I'm not talking about gifts. I'm talking about um, the he has uh, on the rules here, Marcus, but the top three will be announced. So we're okay. only giving out three awards. Is that right? Not four. Yeah, three swings. We're having first, second, we're having second, first, and winner. Is that what we're doing? Mark, what was your intent? Oh, um, I, I was just thinking first, second, and third. I agree with that. Oh, so first is going to be like the the top winner, first place. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is that is that a first, second, and third for each category of the three categories? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. All right. Yeah. So six. So six awards then, or whatever. Uh, well, there's four cat. There's four categories. Oh, okay. So we've got, we've got elementary, middle school, oh, middle school, high school, high school high and school. adult. And Got it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so three times four. So there will be 12 winners. That's nice. I mean, I'm sure we'll get more kids than anything else, but that's, that's okay. Hope so. So it's going to be, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be first place, second place and third place. And that's how it's going to be designated. Is that what we're saying? Second and third oh. place. No honorable mentions. Okay. Three, three prizes, I mean, three awards. Um, I have a question about the, the timeline. If we okay. announce the winners May 14th, is, is that enough time before May 22nd to schedule it? Maybe it is, I, I just wanted to ask. Okay, so what did you just say, Mark? I've pulled up the, the 
contest deadlines we came up with at the last meeting. What did you just say? I was just, I just wanted to ask, and I, I think it's probably okay, but I, I just thought we should talk about it. Um, if we announce the winners on May 14, is it, if it would be eight, excuse me, eight days um, before the planned award ceremony. Um, which, right. Which could be outdoors, you know. Right. We can find an outdoor location where we that can. That might be nice, things. May 22nd, yep. So I, I, I guess as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking that's enough time and just want to hear what people think. Enough time for what? Well, you have to announce it and then you have to, you have to, you know, in the announcement, you're inviting people to come and read their poem, you know? Oh, right. Okay. Yep. And it's only like a week's notice. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, not much, is it? But in, ter in terms of inviting them to a ceremony. Mm -hmm. But if we're having, I guess, the, I guess that's the only thing. I'm wondering if we give, should. Couldn't we give the announce, couldn't we give the announcement of the day of the ceremony ahead of time? That's what I was thinking. We could. Plan. We could tell you know any any um, people who submit who enter the contest you know the are, the say, ceremony. say the date the award yeah. ceremony will be on Sunday yes. even if you don't win you might want to go to the ceremony so sure. okay right. okay right. exactly so when they're notified wait, wait a minute when are they going to poetry uh, so when we send out the flyer are we going to put it in that Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. It's part of the whole so, program. So you're going to say, um, mark your calendars for, so that last line you've got here on your rules list, Mark, it will be, um, ceremonies are, mark your calendar for ceremonies, um, on May, Plan. what Plan we for May 22nd, May 22nd. Yep. Do we have a place? Oh, okay. Now, Mark, you might want to strike that last bit. We're hoping to be in person outdoors in June, so it's going to oh, be in, yes. in May. Yeah. Okay. Right. And and we'll be in person. Uh... I think we can do that. Can we? Do, I wonder if we can do it up at the Stevens Estate, or where would you want it? Maybe even. Maybe it'd be nice over at Stevens Coolidge if they were interested. I don't know. Something different. Well, it would be nice to do it at the Commons so you get some publicity from people driving by. Right. Oh, Commons is kind of tricky for parking, and I don't know. No, I know. Well, it's, it, it's, it seems it's, still, it's, you the, can the do something at the library. You can have people park at the common. I mean, yep. that library is so challenging to park. Well, I'm not crazy about the common. Uh, okay. Okay. Do other people have any thoughts about that? I just love to have it seen by a lot of people. Right. Maybe have a uh, <clears throat> maybe have some kind of a sign up. Right. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Don't hide maybe, it. Maybe, maybe we can think about that. I, okay. I, <clears throat> or the like, Memorial Hall. I wonder if we could do it on the Park. Memorial Park. Right yeah, across the street the from the library. That would work. I wonder if that would be a That'd possibility. Be very nice. The parking is pathetic there. Yeah, that's there really there really is many, true. and then and the neighborhood might not appreciate that. Oh, it's not for that long. Remember when I had that April twenty sixth program? People were stopping to find out what was going on. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, let's get some feedback from everybody about where we should consider having the outdoor ceremony. And and right now we don't have to decide. No. Right. No. Uh, Marie, do you, what do you think? Do you have any? Uh, I think the Stevens. I think the Stevens estate would be really pretty right up there. But we could do it at Memorial Park. I like the idea of the commons, but Jill said something about the parking. Right. Well, it's, it's such a it's such a huge kind of open space in the commons. I mean, right. I could see the park more than the commons. It would look okay. like it would look like, yeah. it would yeah. look like something's happening. Right. I mean, it's, it's where they have um, concerts, right? That's where they had concerts. Right. Right. And there is a 
the, the platform stage yeah. on the phone. And there is power. So you, you yeah. can set up a, a mic and a stand and, and have a, a workable setup that way. And during summer, people will already be there. So. Um, right. It, it makes it, part of it is it makes its own audience, which is nice. We have to be careful. I don't know when sheep shearing is, and that's in May. What day of the week yeah, is that's right. That's right. We were going right. to do it on a Saturday. Uh, actually, I think it's that weekend. <laughs> oh, oh, is it okay? They'll be out there then. <laughs> Build it. That would not work. No, no, no. That would not work. Um, as uh, Jason, what do you what do you think? Oh, I don't have a, um, any special knowledge of the area to have any other comments on it, really. Okay. Do you, if we haven't publicized this yet, do, is that the same weekend as the sheep shearing? Because I'm thinking, you know, kids may want, I don't know if we want to have it the same weekend, even if we can find an alternative location. I, I right. haven't been to that in so long, but I remember it always being a really big event and really popular with, with young folks, so. But it's only for the one day now, they, they don't, they but is it the Saturday? Sunday. That's what I'm saying. If it's no, the no, same it's day. Sunday. Oh, it is Sunday. Sunday. All right. Well, never mind that. Yep. yep. Then See, but problem. the common would be taken over on Saturday with people putting up corrals and fences right. and, I mean, everything. Okay. Well, no, I just didn't want to compete with the event, but. Yeah, no, okay. it wouldn't be. Okay. But the, but the hall, the memorial park would be great because if we did have a sign. Right. And it would only go on the one side that would be for Main Street. I like that idea. I like the public I think that's a great visibility idea. of it. The location's attractive. Okay. It's not too overwhelmingly large. I think it'd be a great, nice, uh, nice, nice reason to use that park. It's not used enough. Well, the thing is, though, the common has power. No. Oh. Well, could we use power somehow from the library? I don't. I don't unless it's a very, power. very long cord. No, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> You'd have to have something that was, um, you know, uh, there, there, are, there are speakers and stuff that are standalones without Ryan electricity. Ryan and Bill and Ray can do anything. Well, I tell you what, let's let's think about it. Okay. And um, yeah, I, I I'm looking online. I don't see any announcement for 2021. Yeah, for, there isn't any. Right. They, I mean, didn't they cancel it in 2020? Yeah. So I'm, oh, I'm <clears throat> oh, it was that weekend, but um, that that I don't see anything for this year at all. Oh dear, so maybe not again. Yeah, which if they're not having it for sure, maybe we do want to think about having it there. But we'll look into that some more. Right. Okay. It, and um, um you no, know, I, I bet we can use. I bet we can use the library sidewalk sign too. To oh, announce that it. might be that might be nice. Well, that'd be good. Um, yeah. Karen, do you want to call town whoever it is for Memorial Park? I don't know who you call. Yeah, it would be over at the town hall. Do you want to call them? Sure. And then, Mark, maybe you and I somehow can figure out what's going on on the common. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we done with that now? Yeah. Yep. And so in terms of this flyer, do we want any graphic behind this, you know, like a watermark or whatever you call that? I don't know what you, what that term is. Yeah, actually what I was thinking, that that's the one thing I didn't, I didn't get that far. That's okay. So, I mean, this is like information, not, not a poster. So right, right. Karen, um, do you have pictures of the um, actor who played Ann Bradstreet yes. that we, Susan, we can yep. use. And I've also got the uh, artwork. Could could the you send me? Of art, Ann Bradstreet and the uh, Arbella from yeah. uh, Lush and her husband, Steve. So are you are... talking about the person, the local person? What was her name? Susan Leno? Susan Leno. Susan oh, Leno. okay. Okay. But not the one from yeah. All my children, or whoever that was. Oh no, that was the lady from the Cape. Yeah. Okay. Susan's uh, done it many, many times. 
Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we didn't need to get anybody's. <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't have any problem with right. that. Yeah, we could do that. Um, actually, yeah, going back, we just many photographs, so you could look at them and decide on one. Going back for just one minute. Yes. Um, since the sheep shearing is and has been a one-day thing. Yes. Why don't we pick Sunday the twenty-third as the day? That way, we know we're not conflicting with it. And they usually do theirs on Saturdays, right? Yeah. No, I. They do really. I thought it was Sunday. My. Saturday, you think? I thought it was. When, when's like, the Memorial Day parade? They always oh, have that Memorial Day parade. Oh, that's another good question. Um, yes, I believe I Memorial Day is the better. Day first. We'll have to look at this again and come back to it. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know what Sorry. this says here. I don't know what day of the week it's. It doesn't really. Memorial Day is on a Monday. No, I'm yeah. talking about the sheep shearing from last year. It gives the date, but it doesn't give the day. I just want to confirm that it's oh, a Saturday. It's Saturday. Sunday. I thought it was a Sunday. Is it a Saturday? I mean, it would make more sense to be a Saturday. Sunday, usually. It was It was a Sunday. I'm. Yep, you're right. It was a Sunday. Yeah. So yep. In 2019, it was Sunday, May 19th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so let's leave it on the 22nd. <laughs> OK. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And if we need, you know, in, in a month from now, if we need to change it, we could change it. But I think just at least with everything that we know, we're safe uh, shooting for the 22nd as a date. Okay. Yep. Um, so I don't know, Mark, if you want to give hand this off to somebody with all the information, you know, the, the informational sheet that you've made and put it in, create some sort of a flyer out of that? I mean, I'm open, if, if somebody um, has a, I'm, I'm open to do it. It's, I, you know, I just didn't want to kind of dump it, dump everything on you. Um, no, I, I don't mean, know, Bridget, have you ever done flyers and stuff, you know, graphic stuff like that? Well, I mean, I've done flyers at work. I'm no graphic designer. I don't, I mean, I'm happy to help, but I don't think I'll be the, the best person to do it. Yeah, um, and I haven't done it for like 15 years, so I'm not I would probably use help. Canva or something, you know, and but but then it, it looks like something that is kind of a little more generic, but. Uh, uh, anybody else, Latika, do you have any experience in that regard? Um, I used to do it, but without the software, it's difficult. I don't, I don't know how you want it. What's, what's the plan? How do you want to deliver it? Just like in creating it in Adobe Suite or? Um, I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's, you know, an attractive flyer that would catch, you know, catch your attention. I mean, it seems how most of this is going to be online. It doesn't really matter that much, but it still would be right. nice to make it. I think, um, I think I can give it a shot. A little artistic. Yeah. Um, so you want to, you want to kind of coordinate with Mark and. Uh, yeah. And I have photos, so we'll work it yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. Karen, if you could send those to me I'll send and it both to you and to Yeah. I mean, what I was thinking is incorporating a picture of a woman playing who played Anne Bradstreet, and then some, possibly some location in town, you know, maybe well, a north of one, one beautiful, Jill, remember the beautiful photo of the, the marker and Susan is walking away from it? The gravestone? She's on the, the marker <clears throat> with the old burying ground. Yeah, the, the gravestone. Or, you know, gravestone. Yeah, well, it's not really gravestone. Yeah. Right. Not it's, you're right. It's, it's, so it's a marker and um, yeah, that, was, that would be from, nice. That'd be nice. And then you don't really see the person's face. You don't see her. You see her from the back and it's beautiful. That might be nice. I like that a lot. It's well, sort of a mysterious. Little, a little morbid, but not too bad. No, it's not. No, it, it's nice to see the, um, the name, her name somewhere and the dates. Yeah. And we're uh, poets, you know. I we're really like yeah. that photo. That might be nice. 
we're we're kind of depressive, you know. <laughs> Artistic. Latika is not. She's she, she's a different mold. But uh, the rest of oh, us yeah. get around. We're, we're just sad. We're sad. She's, <laughs> she's not going to allow us to depress her. <laughs> Look at this smile. <laughs> um. Okay. So we're, we've got things kind of organized in that regard. And and don't forget that oh, I already lost my, it's, uh, so March 1st was our deadline for the flyer. Well, okay. That's going to be, um, so as soon as the, something can be done with that, yeah. that would be great because we're expecting them to, have their poetry submitted by April 23rd. And they've got to have enough time, like the teachers have not have to have enough time if they want to do it as yeah. an in-school project or an after-school project or whatever. I don't know how they're doing things these days. Yeah. Um, but um, let yeah, us know how you, how you get along with that uh, because we will need to get it distributed fairly soon. Um, so April 23rd is when they have to turn in their, their submissions. That's the last day, Friday, April 23rd. April 27th, um, the point person for each. Oh, so for those of you who weren't here last time, I don't know if you listened to the recording of the meeting or saw the minutes that I sent, but we have a point person assigned to each level. And Karen um, is doing elementary, and I think we have you on middle school too, Karen. Uh, yeah, you do. And then yeah. high school is Mark, and then adult is Marie and me, but we could share that okay. with someone else right. if you're interested. Um, but in any case, um, April 27th, um, whoever is collecting these poems, it may either be me or Mary Ellen Osgood. This, we one of us will be sending those all the submissions to the appropriate category point person. Um, well, what we're doing what we're doing with the Frost Foundation is we're sending um, different groups at a time when they come in. You send them by groups of ten. That's what Jim Knowles is doing. I just well, this this is just going to the point person, like it would. All the ones, we're collecting them all together from the website, from the web address, uh, email address. And then they will be dis they'll be dispersed to each of those point people for their categories. And that at that point, um, they have to send that along to their judges. Okay. So you're not doing any ahead of time. Okay. What do you mean ahead of time? See, if, if, if they come in to you over a period of yeah. oh i see what you say as they come and in. then they will be passed on to the point person okay that makes more sense in, because in then you're not 10 or 12 or it's whatever it's just that you want to make sure that when you send it to the judges you might want to send them all together you know what i mean right okay because i just do don't do i don't think it would be fair to have the judges reading different ones throughout a week or two weeks or whatever I, like, see, I see okay i okay. don't know yeah. what do people think do you yeah, have I spoken to Mary Ellen at all? I, I will be. Yeah, I, I did mention this possibility to her, and I, uh, I'm going to have a conversation with her about it. It'll be okay. either her or I will do it. Um, but I just thought if we sent them all in one group at one time to whatever category point person should receive it, then they can just forward them along. They'll have seen them. They'll have them in their e email and they can forward them to the judges for their category. So I guess, and then maybe, okay. So, so we're not going to have any judges decisions. We're just going to do the award ceremony. So we're going to forget about the deadline for the judges. Well, they have to get it into us, I guess. Okay. Into us. So the judges should have their decisions into us by the 14th of May. Okay. Um, so what was I just going to say? Uh, hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. Does anyone have any questions? How many judges? Oh, I know. I was going to talk about judges. Right, right. I wondered about that. So. Yeah. Um, I've had two so far. Okay, so I, Marie, you and I have to work on 
picking up a couple of judges. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and, sure and Mark, um, you probably already have a couple of people lined up. I don't know. I, you if know it, what? I haven't talked to anybody. So you I'm know, if to... anybody has any recommendations for any judges for any of those categories, just send them along to Karen's Elementary and Middle School, Marcus High School, and Marie and I, either one or both, uh, are adult categories. So if you think you know a judge that would be good for any of those particular categories. Not... Jill, what about Helen Mitchell? Yeah, she'd be good. She'd be very yeah, good. I think okay. Good. Yeah. All right. You yeah. might. I might let you speak to her. And okay. Good. How many? How many judges do you think we need per category? I think we had decided. Where are the minutes? Uh, didn't we decide three outside, like in the community, and then whoever, if any one of us want to also be included, would be like three to five judges for each. Okay, that's good. Do, do, do people understand what I'm saying there? Yep. Yep. Okay, I think I put it in the minutes, or or Marie put it in the minutes somewhere. Yeah, minutes. So probably there'll probably be three to four judges for each category, but it could be as many as five. Um, and if any of you want to be judges, let Mark and me know, and um, we'll take that. We'll make sure we get that uh, coordinated. I'd suggest three or five. Four is tricky. I think an even number can be tricky. But okay, so an odd, an odd number over three or over. Okay. I, I, mean, I, I, don't know what I, I hope. Thinking. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it wouldn't be more than five. But that's a good point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we're all odd. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, and if you do, we want to talk. Different. Do we want to take a minute to talk about if we're going to do any gifts for awards or whatever? What we might give in terms of a real, a physical award? Hmm. Would, would we be? Would we soliciting uh, some sort of gift certificate from any places? Or, or that's what do you probably think? the best thing to do. From maybe maybe oh. the merchants will help us a little. Oh, that's um, an idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of good publicity for them too. If they're you know if they're affiliated with the event. Well, if they well if they like to, they could even present some of the event um, prizes. Hmm. Um, somebody would have to just take the lead on that and contact merchants. Okay, who wants to do that? Jason, what are you up to? I mean, yeah, I could do that if I, I just, um, I don't you know. Don't know any, you don't know anybody. <laughs> no. no the Merchants Association, you could just check with uh, Stachy's Pizza, I think, is one of the ones who's. Well, is there here? someone else that can do this in tandem with Jason? Who, who else needs to, uh, to do a little? Was the merch, there's a North Andover Merchants Association. Yes, said. yes, exactly. Probably just contact if there's a point person for them. Just contact them. Hey, we have this thing that yeah, yeah, official. The town's doing it. That would definitely be the easy way to. You wouldn't yeah. be going from pillar to post. No, just say we I'm need also, twelve prizes, gift certificates. You know, right, right. So, so we need. Yep, that's right. Twelve. Exactly. Jason, this is Bridget. If you want to make that first outreach, that would be great. And then if they send you back a list, I'm happy to take a share of it. I'm more local and I'm happy to reach out to places individually. So. Sure. Okay. That's great. All right. Um, but do we want to, I'm sorry, when I approach them though, would the prizes be like in descending amounts? You know what I mean? Like first prize, like say 20 bucks off pizza or something. I don't know. I mean, that's the only thing is you're soliciting it from people. So we're kind of at there. Yeah. Point. Counting on their large yes. And so, yeah, we'll have to make some numbers up that we yeah. have for. And you could even, like, first place gets some gift certificate, second. and second and third get a, you know, just get a certificate saying you're yeah, yeah, yeah. third. So, you know. So we're probably, probably really soliciting four prizes because if I go to them and I want 12, that might be. Right. That, that might be a lot. I don't know. Well, if you had 12 businesses. Yeah. Right. I can yeah, but then you're saying one business is worth first prize and another business uh, is worth third prize. Okay. <laughs> uh 
Uh-oh. Yeah, Bridget. Well, yeah. That's, a, that's a good point. Yep. Okay, yeah. so we just want to do the... Th- the four, first prize. That sounds good. Yeah. So when you say four, first, second, and third, well, who's the fourth one? Mark? No, 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 no first prize for each category. Adult, adult, middle school. Oh, yeah, you're right. School Sorry. and elementary. And then what are we doing for the second and third folks? A, um, a nice printed certificate. Yeah, yeah, right. Like all of them would get a certificate, you know, yeah, yeah. for second and third. I think it's nice. It is. It is nice to try a North Andover merchants um, give them a chance to get some promotion. We'll promote them. You know, we'll we'll list them um, on the fly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll start out. Publicity. I guess what I'm thinking is we'll start out with a flyer that describes the contest and promotes it, and then as we line up um, support from yeah. town merchants, then we add them to the to all of that. Flyer. Maybe like a program that we have at the event could list the merchants that donate. Right. And then the program just could be a folded um, single page, you know, uh-huh. right. but something people can have uh, in front of them. Okay. All right. So you think okay. certificates, you think that just little handmade certificates of your award is going to be good? Good enough. I, I think so. Well, let, yeah. me see, let me see. Let me see what the Frost Foundation certificates look like. I forget. We've done magnets. We we always do a medal, which we aren't going to do for this. But we I, also have certificates. I, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, oh, yeah. I used to do the Ann Bradstreet Poetry Youth Poetry <laughs> Contest at the library, and I'm I'm pretty sure we gave the each. I can't remember now. Maybe we did, we did. We did. well. It was a long time ago, Joe. We no. did get a certificate. They did get to read their poems. That's the right. other. They thing did though. present their poems. That mainly were they were from Ipswich and then here from North Andover. So that's the other thing. Somehow we want to make sure that we we let them know they if they would like they could read their poems. Yes, they're encouraged. I think oh. that, yeah, I think that's very important. I right. They read their poems. Yeah. In in fact. I'll, I'll make you include that. Okay. The other thing, don't you think that we could give everyone that submits a poem something little? And everyone, what, Marie? No. I like I that. Think, yeah. I think anyone that submits a poem, couldn't we give them something little? Some um, kind like of a thank you poem. for submitting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, maybe for Kit? I don't know. Well, I don't so many of those. Maybe one piece of paper. Yeah. I mean, that they could well, show. I guess we just have to find out how many we're going to get. Well, not only that, but then it's kind of diminishes the value of the second and third people getting just Yeah, a, but they could you know, get something a little higher. Maybe everybody that donates something, they could get like, what, $2 or something, a gift card. Someplace and then oh, I everybody we were else. Doing that. Okay, now I'm confused. Or we can give them an opportunity to come speak their poem regardless. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. I was Ooh. thinking that. Yeah. That's, that's anybody's welcome to read. I like that idea. Okay, I can jump that down too. Um, so we're closing in on eight o'clock. Do we have, um, let's see. Was there anything from last time we really needed to answer Once again, we have not talked about the Poet Laureate Committee. Folks, when you're out and about, when you're online, see if you can interest um, new members because the more the merrier. And um, especially people who, um, you know, have the time and the energy um, to get, get involved. Yeah. Um, and I'd love to figure out uh, what we can do about the co-chair because you all are very helpful, but it would be nice to kind of go back to, to Gail's hard to replace because she she this was what she did almost full time. Right. <laughs> right. Sort of cool. thing. So could we possibly plan to go to a PTO combined meeting sometime and talk to the parents who were at a PTO meeting? You know, some of the people from our committee, I think that would help a great deal. 
hmm. question and answer period from the community. We could, we could well figure out something like that, I guess. Yeah, maybe for the first part of school next year. I guess yeah. I'm thinking you would do that if you had some activity planned, or like where you're trying to promote, and promote, right? Yeah, I could link it up with something. I think it would be okay. nice though for people well, to see us. Um, I just kind of wanted to touch on that because um, it's it's important to get um, new folks involved. Um, very. And of course, as we know now, um, we've got a lot of people who aren't even in North Andover anymore. It would be nice to get North Andover people, but it's great for those who are interested and in, in want to uh, help in this regard to get them involved too, whether or not they're um, residents. Um, okay, other business. Should we quickly mention any other business or do people have any announcements? Or do, is there one other thing we should just quickly touch on about the contest uh yeah just one question i had so karen um how many pictures are there and like if we could the faster we could get them we can work on the um poster so if we could get it by tomorrow would that be would that be possible can you sure. find that one of her walking can, away yeah i can i can send that to you sure yeah okay yep thanks um, anybody have any announcements? No. This is well, the what, what's the next meeting date? Hmm. It's got to be in March. So let me pull my. Uh, it? So, yeah, what do you think the end of March? Somewhere yeah, around the end of March. Is that, is that going to be doable? Yeah. We yeah. Need to have one in March. Yeah, we've got make to see sure, how things Make are sure going. we know what we're doing and we've got things on track. Yep. And we can be emailing each other back and forth if there's questions or whatever, information to share, but it would be nice to have one towards the end of the month. Um, I, yeah. Anybody? So Monday's, Monday the 29th, is that too late? Maybe is, that a, is that a holiday weekend? Wait. No. Oh, no. Okay. it's just wishful thinking then. Okay. <laughs> when is Easter? How about March? How about Monday the 29th? That, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Mondays are, are work out well the best with Cam, so I, I'd like to keep that if we can. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, that's I good. used to work Monday. I used to, I used to work Monday night, so that's why it was never an option. But now they had me come during the day, so. I won't be able to make that one because I'll be traveling, but I, I okay. can tune in later. I mean, okay. Okay. Um, uh, so, do we want to go with that, uh, or do we want to try? Good. Uh huh. Or All right. So, and, or and, we'll, and we'll do it for seven o'clock again. Don't forget that you can sign in anytime after six thirty. Make sure you look for the right invite. It will be from me, as far as I know. <laughs> and um anything else uh, and, okay. and latica we're gonna we're gonna take you um accept your offer to do the secretary minute taking next time sure. and i think we're all set then right for tonight yeah pretty good all right take a look at the um take a look at the minutes um and you can always review this particular meeting minutes uh, in a couple of days on YouTube by putting in in the query box North Andover Poet Laureate Committee. All right, yeah. thanks everyone. I really appreciate it. Bye. Okay. And we will see you on the 29th. Let me know if there's any conflicts um, before then. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank have, you. have a good evening. And thanks, thanks, Jason, for that that. Um, Oh, Thank sure. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Happy writing. All right. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night. Good night. Meeting is adjourned.